Hello beer tubers and welcome to another beer review with me Peter, the master of puppets. And you know what guys? Christmas is near my deal. And that's why we're trying this beer. That was very silly. <laughs> and stupid, but this is actually kind of an anti-Christmas beer. Or at least when I have a look at the label. This is another Cervezian beer there. Small bit of beast blew my mind. That was amazing, amazing pastry stout. Uh, so uh, yeah, and I even talked to Ellen from Cervezian. Seems very nice. Cheers, Ellen. Um, and she talked about their new releases coming and she said I should try some because they would probably be up my alley if I like Cerviciums uh, Smoke with the Obese. So uh, this is our one of their two uh, Christmas releases this year. Both are Imperial Stouts. One is this one, which is Krampus from 2017. And then they have another one called Salty Christmas Chocolate Balls or Salty Chocolate Christmas Balls or something like that, which we'll try later on. But um, yeah, I had to get them. She said they would probably be up my alley if I like the other one, which was just amazing. So uh, this will be fun to try. This seems a bit like an anti-Christmas beer. So it's okay that we do it in November because as you guys know, I'm probably gonna be doing an entire calendar of Christmas beers in December. So we're pre-gaming a bit with a Christmas beer this time around. But label game on fucking point, fucking fire. I love this. I mean, <laughs> Cerezium's labels, labels are just great. Um, this is, I guess, the Krampus in the background that's melting one of Santa's elves who's presenting a box with a lump of coal for some unlucky soul or <laughs> a bad child. It seems very anti-Christmas, but I love it. It's just, their, their artwork is so fucking metal. I, it's just amazing. Uh, yeah, but it says here, Krampus, Imperial Christmas Stout. Krampus is an Imperial Christmas Stout that will abduct your palate and beat it with flavors of chocolate, orange, caramel, and roasted malts. All these come together with the oats and lactose for a creamy delight. 10%. Also brewed with wheat. So, a chocolate orange caramel imperial stout. Sounds pretty interesting. She told me, uh, Ellen, that this is a bit more classic imperial stout like and it's not as crazy adjunct heavy as uh, the others like Smorbidly or the uh, new one, Chocolate Salty Christmas Balls. But I'm pretty sure it will be fun to try anyways. But we got the Cervezium 2017 Krampus poured, and that poured a very nice pitch black imperial stout in the glass. Yeah, no light penetrating the beer. The head that when I poured it was just fizzing up like crazy. And I was wondering if it might be a bit overcarbonated, but then I realized, well, I brought it home, walked a long way to bring it home. I bought this actually at uh, Will Beast, just like uh, the other Smobilio Beast, or Smobilio Beast, the other Cervezium beer. Uh, which is a local now web shop as well and a gastro pub that I promised you guys to shoot a video at. I just need to get it scheduled. Uh, but looks great in the glass, nice kind of beige head. Let's check out the aroma on Krampus 2017. Yeah, <laughs> this was quite nice. Definitely more classic Imperial Stout. It's not that crazy heavy adjunct game, but there is definitely sweet lactose and there is definitely like a sweeter orange, like almost like uh, orange or tangerine aroma. I'm not getting tons of the chocolate, but it there's like maybe more of a coca nib type of aroma. And I see the caramel too. Definitely lots of coffee and roast. Much more roasty than the others. It smells really nice. That sweet lactose OT, almost like Imperial Oatmeal slash Milk Stout, which I guess, well, doesn't it say Imperial? It's just Christmas Stout, but yeah, I guess it's more, you know, Imperial Milk Stout. It smells really nice though. Yeah, roasty, slightly umami without being too crazy. It smells like it's more of a balanced imperial salad as well between sweetness and roast. But let's give it a taste, guys. Cheers. Still, oh, that is still really nice. Much more lactose than I expected from the initial smell and the aroma. And it's really orange, like uh, chocolatey orangey as well. Almost like... Um, in Denmark, we have these Tumps. Uh, it's a candy company, like chocolate orange chocolates. I think in, in the UK, they got like, it's chocolate orange eggs or something, like, something they had for Christmas, I believe. It's got uh, something along those vibes, but it's not as intense as like Smorbidly was. Still damn fine in Burrow Stout though. Oh, I really love the sweet lactose. The sweet lactose and chocolate flavor makes me think of sweet milk chocolate with this like orange sweetness. Like this really embodies for me that kind of chocolate orange. Mm. These guys are going places, I'm pretty fucking sure. This is really good too. 
it's not on the same level as Morbidly, but it's still a damn fine Imperial style. Um, really nice mouthfeel as well, medium to full, very coating, chewy, super silky and slick, just like the other one. Like, they nail that super slick, silky mouthfeel, which is great. It also leaves the sticky gloss on your lips. Super drinkable, not tasting the 10%. It's got some roasty, charry type flavors as well. Definitely also coffee, but very well balanced, charry, roasty flavor with lactose. And if you maybe thought uh, Smallbirdly was a bit too diabetes, then Krampus might be more up your alley because it's not as sweet. But what a nice and different take on a Christmas beer is because usually, at least in Denmark, Christmas beers are like Belgian in style with spices or uh, something like that. That was a big trend for making Christmas IPAs for a while. Um, and there are some stouts, but chocolate, orange, caramel stouts, imperial stouts, don't see that too often for Christmas, so that's really cool. Um, the caramel I'm getting a little bit of, it's not loads, but there is some. It's not like, like Cerisium's uh, Small Vanille Bees, which is just like crazy creme brulee caramel flavors, but this is still really, really, really nice. Mm. So rating wise for, let's pour some more, Cerisium's Krampus. There is a touch of vanilla actually as well, just because I think the lactose sometimes gives, and also oats, get vanilla as flavors, but I'm gonna go 94. This is really nice Imperial Stout. Not as good as Morbidly, uh, but I still really, really enjoy it. I still, still really recommend checking it out. I mean, it's, it's a lot of people have been saying it's like Omnipolo type adjunct beer, uh, just much cheaper. And I can definitely see that connotation. Uh, and if you're into maybe more the balanced adjunct beers and still sweet, but not crazy sweet, this is probably something you'd like more, but I still think it's fantastic. So yeah, 94 guys for the Cervisium Krampus 2017. It's pretty much all around Scandinavia at the moment. Uh, quite a few web shops have it. So I suggest checking it out. I think I have it on both Wildebeest and Kiosk and, oh, is there any place else? I'm actually, that's, I think that's the only two, oh, bit. Box beers as well, and they ship internationally, as well as kiosk. But check it, check it out, guys. See if you can find it. Really, really tasty stuff. Cervisium, up and coming Norwegian brewery for me. I think it's slowly turning into one of my favorite newer breweries that I discovered. They're doing really killer stuff. Love the artwork. Love the pastry stout game they're doing. Really looking forward to try the other one, the chocolate Christmas salty balls. So. Let me know what you guys thought of Krampus 2017, if you had a chance to try it, guys. And as always, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter and Instagram, and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I'm going to say cheers. See you guys in another beer review.